wife. Hi. What are we up to today? Accidental boat. It's the maiden voyage of the SS Chaos. Yes? Yes. SS Chaos, huh? SS Chaos. That's what I decided to name your uh, impulse by. Yeah? Yeah. It was an accidental. Accidental is what you told me. You accidentally bought a boat from eBay. And now we're going to see if we're going to drown or not. Okay. eBay boats. Good idea, bad idea. <laughs> That's what we're going to call this. Well, we purchased it from eBay. It's from a reputable company, Sea Eagle. It is. They've been making boats since like the 70s or something. Okay. I don't think this boat is from the 70s. Well, I hope not. But they've been around for a long time. Yes, Very popular. Sea Eagle SE9 inflatable raft. Boat. Boat. Don't call it a raft. You finally got your boat. Yay. I'm going to start by saying this is not meant to be an instructional video on how to set this thing up. Um, sea Eagle has a fantastic video for that already. So I'll put that link below. The boat is pretty easy to inflate. Uh, the valves on it are Boston valves and there is a pump, a, a big foot pump that comes with the boat. And it actually works pretty well. When I blew it up for the first time in the living room using the foot pump, it took about 20 to 25 minutes to inflate everything. But I wanted to use a compressor. Finally found a Boston valve adapter. So you'll see the first thing I did was use a um, kind of a bicycle tire pump, an electric one, a uh, bicycle tire, a sports ball type pump. And while it was working, it was not working very fast. But when that, that just wasn't doing what I wanted it to, um, I went ahead and got out our Viair pump. The, the big Mac Daddy really made things go a lot faster, as you can see. Oh, we are doing this. This is a thing that we are doing. Yes. <laughs> All right, you got it? Pull it through. So, how was the maiden voyage of the SS Chaos? Exhausting. Yeah? Like most chaotic things in our life, yes. Yes. That was hard. Like my, my shoulders, at least this one. Yeah. It's painful. Okay, but I mean, how did it feel? Did it handle well? Did it float good? Yeah, I mean, obviously it floated good because here we are. Well. Um, it was harder to get back because the wind was yeah. fighting us the whole way. Um, we want to take it back out for a little while? Yeah, Have some fun? Totally. We yeah. Can do that. I will. I will. Yes. Ready? Yes. But getting the <laughs> getting the oars in correctly is quite the challenge. It is. It's even more of a challenge when you have a four-year-old right now. Uh-huh. Stand up in this boat. Huh. And, uh, not you. Not you, mommy. So we're gonna put that to the test. Comes too hot to put in there. I'm gonna see about standing up and hopefully not going for a swim. Yes, right. please don't. Okay. 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 It is like. Have you ever stood on one of those core balance things at the gym? Uh-huh. It's a lot like that. Okay. 
but hey, it's stable. Yeah. Hooray! All right, so that wraps up the maiden voyage of the SS Chaos. I know. Hey, we had a, a few inflation problems that'll get fixed with practice. Mm -hmm. um, rowing was physically difficult. But demanding. Yeah. Not difficult, demanding. Yeah. And awkward. A little awkward. I think with, okay. with practice, we'll figure it out, or yes. a kayak style paddle. Yes. Deflated super quick, but uh -huh. the bottom's wet, so we can't put it away. Yeah. Um, we'll, and I want to clean it. Yep, so we'll lay it out in the driveway probably tomorrow, mm -hmm. clean it up, dry it out, yep. roll it up quick and easy. Um, we'll try and get a little video of that. Um, so we're going to forget to do that, but that's okay. Yep. Anyway, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Leave us a comment. Subscribe, please. We appreciate every subscriber. Yeah. Click the bell no I Click the bell, bell icon, icon and you'll get notified whenever we upload videos like this one. <laughs> yes. We try to upload a new video at least once a week. Yep. All right. Thanks again, guys. We will see you next week. Yes. Hope you enjoyed our three hour tour. It's going to be in your head now, isn't it? Oh, no, it's terrible. <laughs> All right, so the boat's been in the back of the truck for a couple days. It's been rainy here, um, but it's been nice and dry in the back of the truck. So the boat is dry. You can see we've got it all flattened out. Katie checked to make sure it was dry. You don't ever want to put it away when it's dry. Or when it's wet. Yes. You want to put it away when it's dry, not when it's wet. So now we're going to pull this thing up. Big boat, itty bitty back. We're gonna put the big boat, that's not so big anymore, into the little bag that seems a lot bigger than it did when the boat was full size. So, he says that once you get it in there, gravity is gonna take over. We'll see. All right. You will see me flying high. Put a paddle over here. And uh, that's it. It all fits in the bag. It's in the bag, baby. <laughs> now this is not something I can easily carry by myself. You say it's about 70 pounds? Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's probably about right. Um, they have the carrying strap here. I would rather they'd put wheels on it. <laughs> they can, they actually have a cart you can buy. Oh, of course they do. So. That's it. It's done and ready for the next time we go out on the water. Woohoo! Good job. All right. Let's go inside. Yeah.